Alright, so it's time we take a look at even more amazing glitches and cool tricks you can pull off in the new update in Marvel Spider-Man 2. And of course, one that lets you play as Peter Parker swinging through New York City and just like having fun, honestly, with a look that should have been available since day one. Nonetheless, I'm going to show you what you need to do in order to pull this off and let's dive right in. Now, the first portion of this method was discovered by a YouTuber called Oobvault, so I'm going to give a huge shout out to them. Totally check out their links down below. But if you want to also have the web swings and all the other abilities, I'm going to show you how to pull it off yeah, in just a little bit. But basically, it all starts right here in the mission called Photo Help. This is essentially the one in which you will help a journalist take a photo. And Peter also remembers of the first photo he brought to Jameson when he was young. Eventually, the mission brings you through this construction site and you will want to stop right in the middle by this yellow machinery. Essentially, you will aim for this gap between this pack of cement bags and the fence near them. So you will want to go right inside. It's going to be a bit iffy and you'll have to wiggle the camera a little bit, but just constantly aim for the fence, not the other way. You will want to get to the other side of the fence and break the out of bounds limit. If you do this a little bit, eventually the game just spits you to the other side and from this point on, New York is free to explore. Traffic and NPCs fully spawn and you can just ride your bike through New York City. You can also ditch the bike, by the way, which you can do by just jumping in any body of water. So just go here by the river, jump inside, and if you then jump again, you're going to see that Peter completely ditches out the bike. From this point on, if the game doesn't throw you back at the shoreline, you can just use any of these rocks in the area to essentially make your way back up. Now, what you will notice, unfortunately, if you just follow these steps, is that you don't get the web swinging mechanics. Only Peter's regular jumping and running animations, and that is pretty much it. However, if you also want to have the web swing mechanics and the ability to attack and also use your web shooters, you're going to want to follow these precise steps. So first of all, head over to this specific dock right here in Midtown. As far as I know, it's the only one that makes this possible. Once you reach here, you're going to want to just make your way down with the bike as usual. And in this very last moment before jumping in the water, absolutely make sure that you do it at full speed so that at the end, Peter also does this small jump animation inside. If you take a look back and look at some of these rails and other perch points, you will notice that the game even lets you use your web zip mechanic. However, do not do it from the water, otherwise it completely bugs out. What you want to do instead is to first make it the shoreline, so just jump over these rocks, you can totally do it, it's easy, and then use the zip mechanic. And from this point on, congratulations, now the game fully lets you web zip around New York, and just enjoy the game as Peter Parker for once. Now, you will not have the web gliding mechanic, since obviously he didn't have it at this point. You will also not get the web slingshot, and a few more in there too, like for example, the air tricks do not work, but everything else about it fully works. You can use it, especially if you already unlocked some of these abilities in your skill line. Now, if for some reason during that dock jump phase you don't see the perch points appearing, then there are a couple of things to fix it. First of all, make absolutely sure that you do not reset any checkpoints during this entire scenario. So straight from the open world, when you go inside of that mission, make absolutely sure that you do that glitch through the fence trick from the very first go and immediately go to the pier and jump from there in the water without doing any loading and without doing any restarts and anything of sorts. If it happens to you, then just start again from the open world, swing around a bit as Spidey or as Miles and then start the mission and repeat the whole process again. Now, in terms of combat, you can totally do combat. Unfortunately, nothing of sorts spawns to use it on. So no enemies, no crime activities, nothing of that, but you can totally still use your web shooters and attacks if it does happen for you. Also, gliding on water is totally possible if you just do it from high speed jumps. However, do not go into the swim mode. This is going to immediately break the animation and again get you stuck in water until you get close to the shorelines and get by some of these rocks. So as soon as he kind of stops gliding, immediately go into a jump and kind of repeat this the normal way so that you constantly glide instead of swimming. But um, yeah, besides that, you can also go and do some other stuff. The bike back in Astoria is still completely available. 
so you can go ahead and have some fun with it it's going to despawn just as usual and you can also just abandon it if you want to like the bike that peter starts with besides this you can also visit aunt may's grave for some reason obviously that makes absolutely no sense because in this timeline aunt may should still be alive however i don't think insomniac thought as far as us completely breaking through the barriers and visiting the entire city so it's obviously the present day city that we get to visit no more helping one at a time not with this suit also quite interesting that peter has the same dialogue as the symbiote voice lines during this moment but it might just be because when i started this mission i was doing that part of the main story so if you do it at a different time it might be the normal one um, and yeah you can pretty much pull off everything that you want to but uh, if you do this you're not going to be able to finish the mission it's going to bug out so once you do kind of have your fun you can totally reset the mission and continue as usual but speaking of cool tricks to pull off in the new update they finally fixed one which is the charged jump and now it finally functions properly when setting it as a shortcut and you absolutely have to do this because it completely changes and gives you unparalleled advantages for your traversal so if you just hold this down on the shortcut button you can now use purge points to launch yourself straight up completely vertically without wasting any additional movement so for example if you use some of these lamp posts even the spinning ones if you just hold that down during the animation now spidey will launch directly up instead of forward and a bit up which is going to be extremely useful if you want to reposition or use perch points to directly go at top of buildings or if you just want to like take a quick look around you without traversing additional distance this helps a ton especially in these situations another one is that you can totally use this with the web swing assist set to zero to bypass the limitation when you hit the ground and the one that interrupts your animation so usually instead of having your animations interrupted by hitting the floor you can now just quickly tap that shortcut button and the charge jump immediately throws you back up in the air you don't even have to actually charge it it immediately throws you back up so this is a very good way to bypass that limitation when you don't have any assist for the web swing even cooler is that you can use it from your own web lines to now launch yourself from mid air so what you can do is to just block any like web swing go straight into a dodge then immediately pull off l2 and press triangle to set up one of these lines and from this point on if you just hold down that shortcut button you're going to immediately see spidey launching from it so it's actually a very good mechanic you can pull off in between buildings or if you want to like get even more height but not want to use other perch points in the environment plus it looks very cool to look at and of course you can do this infinitely as long as you hold down that button you can bunny hop infinitely but by far my favorite is you can use this in combat for some insane tricks so literally any attack animation especially when you zip to enemies or when you use finishers or any other abilities you can immediately hold down that button and spidey will immediately do a charged jump and from this point on you can just do a smash in the ground follow with other abilities and like i said every ability from this point on can be immediately followed up by a jump I really like this one because it just lets you completely dominate enemies in completely new kinds of ways plus it tends to recharge many of your abilities much faster you hit aoe's the ground around you just shakes so your abilities will come back sooner and then just continue as usual but that is pretty much it with the video now if you find it useful a sub to the channel would totally help me out a ton we're also getting very close to 500k subs the biggest goal i had for this year so it would really help me out a ton if you sub to the channel and activated those notification bells as always thanks so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video